this. So today, just to be a little bit different, so I decided to make a videos in my garden. So I'm not going to show you my house because of the obviously uh, privacy reasons. So um, yeah, today is it's really a nice weather in London, and I haven't been doing a videos. Um, in English for a while because I started a Facebook page in my language and I'm from Burma if anybody is wondering it's now called Myanmar so um, yeah so just for a change there's a air, airplane flying overhead so hopefully I can edit this out anyway so this video so far I just want to share the makeup and skincare products that I've been loving so far for 2015 and we're only in April at the moment so there's a lot more to come but um, the one I have been using so far I absolutely love and I gotta show it and share it with you guys so that you can give it a try too so first of all I'm gonna start with a skincare products okay so um, Till last year, I've been using Dactyl. It's my uh, skincare line. Almost I use everything from Dactyl, and I hardly ever try any other brand. But then, at the end of the last year, I went to Tokyo. So um, obviously, there's lots and lots of skincare stuff in Tokyo that you can try. So I ended up buying lots and lots of stuff, and uh, there are only a couple that I managed to start using, and there's some I absolutely love. So the first product I want to share with you is. Um, from Kose Comfort, is um, I think it's called Softimo White C. It's a cleansing oil. So I use this for uh, taking my makeup off at the end of the day. What I did is when I get home, I take two pumps of this in my hands, and I just warm it in my hands. I massage it on my face very gently. Sometimes I take it off with a tissue. Sometimes if I am so lazy and I don't want to do that, I just go straight into the bathroom and then I wash it off with the warm water. And it almost works as a face wash, which is really really good, um, and it's really moisturizing as well. So uh, if there are days or in a winter months where I stay in London, it's really really cold. It's really good and I've been using it and to be honest I've been using this since um, December and now I'm in April and I'm not even halfway through and I use this every single day and I think it's really good it doesn't break me out it take off my makeups including the waterproof mascara so this is really good and I highly recommend it if everyone wants to try I think you can get this on a yes style and um, so if you're in a European country you want to give it a try you will have to get it through the internet and I absolutely love it at the moment it's from a Korean brand called instant free I think I, I hope I pronounced it right but yeah it's from a company called instant free and it's a green tea sleeping pack uh, green tea so I run out of my normal deadly all whitening brightening yeah brightening aroma see night cream runs out and I wanted to try something different as well and I was browsing through the internet and I find this brand and it's from Korea and their main range is based on the green tea now they do different stuff like swipe beans and you know all sort of stuff but I find this and it fortunately it was on sale so I was like what is it gonna lose so I'm gonna give it a try I order it and it came through and it was pretty quick I think it took about two weeks to come and I use this like a night cream even though it's called sleeping pack it's almost like it's night cream so at night I will take on my makeup wash my face put a toner on and then I will put this on and the cool things about this is it's like a gel consistency and if you look at it it got this little white tiny um, green tea residue or granules you would call it in there but as you rub it in they all are bust through and then mix with the gel and then it absorbs onto the skin and it makes my skin feel really really good but it smells so good as well so I absolutely love this and I've been using it it's I'm almost halfway through and it doesn't break me out either so I think it's a, like a good product and the price wasn't that much but I don't remember how much I pay I think it's around 10 or 12 pounds that I pay for it and I think it's absolutely worth it and the smell is so good so that's one and, the, and this is a facial toner from E2 House it's called Skin Malcolm I think that's what it calls it's a moisture care freshener basically it's a toner my skin texture improve but you wouldn't believe you get this out of uh, something you pay for like eight pounds and 
I've been using it for about a month now. I use this every day after I wash my face and the feeling it makes you feel so fresh and clean and on top of that it's moisturizing. I think it comes about five different ones. Like you got the oil base, you go for the one for acne skin, yeah, for the dry skin, sensitive skin, and I took the one that is the uh, moisturizing. And I think it's Melkin. I'm just gonna read to you what it says on the bottle. It says the Korean word for cleanness, clarity and pureness. Skin Melkin Hypoallergic Toner promote clean, clear, and pure complexion with moisturizing and pore clearing formulas. So even if you read the description, you wouldn't be able to help it, and then you're like, "Oh, is everything good about it? Why not?" So yes, that was made me buy, and and the packaging is so cute. It looks like a glass bottle, but actually it's a plastic. But it actually looks like a glass bottle, which is really really cool. And I think you got about. Um, 12 mil 8.45 flowing out so this is really cool because um, when I buy a, a toner from Dakio normally I think it's only about five fluids ounce it's about this small so after a month and a half you will always end up buying another one I think this will last me at least two three months to go through and the consistency again it's not like toner it's not like a water it's like almost like a gel look at it it's quite thick as well but once you put it on a cotton wool and you, you put it right across your face it's just so fresh it makes it feel so good okay so I will start with the foundation uh, this year in February and uh, I was looking around to be honest I was kind of preparing for the summer I was looking for foundation that's gonna be good for summer quite light and a good coverage uh, that takes you know selfie well as well uh, because I'm kind of like a junkie taking selfies a lot so I was looking around and on the internet everybody said the good things about Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation and to be honest I'm not a Urban Decay use it because I don't have a lot of Urban Decay's. I do not have any Urban Decay cosmetic before this. But I did read a lot of good reviews so I thought okay I'm gonna give it a try and unfortunately there is a Urban Decay uh, shop opening in London, Convent Garden. So I decided I'll go there and then have my color match and then I decided to buy this. So it's a Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup. So obviously it's an ultra definition if you are somebody who makes like videos and reviews and stuff like that like me this is definitely good and it sets on your skin beautifully and it doesn't give you that cakey look either and it takes the photographs and videos really well and I even use this for like a daily use when I go to work and you know so the, and the only thing I notice is only a little bit of oiliness around my you know my nose area but no oil comes seeping through by the time I put this on like 8 o'clock in the morning and by the time I finish work it's like half six uh, half five six o'clock so that's almost eight nine hours and it stands throughout the day so I'm really really impressed with it and it doesn't break me out um, my color was shade 6.0 I'm in in Mac I'm NC 35 so I'm not sure what that will help you so you don't need a lot it's quite liquidy as well ooh, ooh. Okay, quite liquidy as well. So, if you put it on, I normally use a brush to put this on. It blends to your skin really well. It sets really well as well. So, I am really impressed with this. And I think I might probably try some of their powders and stuff like that from Urban Decay now because I have a really good experience with their powder, uh, not powder, their foundation. So, that's one. And then moving on, uh, I have two concealer. Basically, this is from MAC. It's a MAC Select uh, Moisture Cover NC30. I bought this about a year ago. For some reason, I, I'm somebody like I do not use a lot of concealer. I'm not, uh, you know, I do have under eyes, you know, darkness and stuff like that, but I'm not the type of person who covers this up. I just leave it as it is. And I bought this, and end of the last year, what happened was I got a lot of hormonal breakouts, like on my jaws area. And I did have a lot of like scarrings that I need to cover it up so I'll just dig it into my makeup box and I found this and I was like okay this I bought it when I got married to just use it under my eyes that's about 30 and I'm NC35 so I was thinking okay if I put this on the scars that's just gonna you know have a lighter patches instead of darker patches so I was like okay I'm gonna give it a try so I did put this on and I just use uh, like a very fluffy brush I just dab it on and uh, in a miracle it cover my scar so well you can't even tell so now I'm finished with this but 
I was so surprised that it was this good. I wasn't expecting it. I just had to use it because I was I didn't have anything. Now I'm gonna go and buy another one of this because it was so good and it covers my scars really well as well. So this is Max NC 30 Select Moisture Cover Concealer, which I'm loving, love and love loved, and I finished and I'm gonna buy another one. And then another one was one of the purchases I bought it in Tokyo. This is from Kamek. Kamek is like a, it's equivalent to almost Rimmel and you know collection to that. It's quite cheap uh, price range of the drugstore brand in Japan. So I bought this. It's from Kamek. It's the I think it actually called Color Stick. It all have different colors. So I took this one, which is like a salmon color. It's very straightforward, uh, like concept the stick sort of thing so it's like this but the color is almost like salmon color like pinkish like skin tone sort of color so I swatch it in the store and I put it under my eyes and I, it covers all my under eye dark circles so well so I bought this and I didn't use it I only started using it a month back just under my eye and I am absolutely loving it it brightens my eyes really well so now I don't just use it under my eyes I use it you know on my nose bridge on top of wherever there is a redness or there is a dark shadow I put this on and I blend it with the brush and it's brightened my looks completely so I am really really loving this I think I might have to buy it from the internet again if this runs out so if you are familiar with Barry M's this is like a famous brand in London they started with this uh, pot eye shadow and they were getting famous with this and then I was looking for a waterproof mascara and to be honest with you I'm somebody like I do not believe in buying mascara that will cost me like 10 12 pounds almost 20 pounds some of the mascara and I will never be the one who's gonna spend that much money on a mascara when I had supposed to be you know changing it every three months or so so I was checking samples in the store and I come across this one and I one thing what I normally do is when I find something new in store, I don't buy it straight away. I just go on my phone and then try to search all the reviews and read the reviews whether they're any good. And they got a really so I was checking all the samples and I come across this mascara. And the first thing it got my attention is the brush. If you look at it, the brush is like it's not rubber. It's it's like a normal mascara brush, but it's really short. And it got like good products on it and I tried the sample in the store and it really curled my eyelashes as well so I, I said I'll give it a try it only uh, cost like 650 so say when you are looking for a waterproof mascara you want something that's gonna last the whole day that's not gonna give you any panda eyes by the end of the day you know you want something like that this does that nothing will come apart you won't have any panda eyes during the day and at the evening if you only use a proper mascara remover then this will come off right so this is really good for the price I'm paying the only downside is um, it can probably sometimes clump up because of the way the tube is it's really white on the top so you will get a lot of uh, products on your brush but what I do is if when that happen as soon as I take it out I just put it on and run it through a tissue so that there's not a lot of products on it so I'm loving this I think and then moving on to another eye product that I'm loving is an eyeliner. This is another one that I bought when I was in Tokyo. It's from a company called Carnival and it's Kate Super Sharp Liner. Okay, I bought this in a, a, like a wholesaler. It's called Don Quixote. It's very famous in, across the Japan. If you go there, you got almost everything. Household, cosmetic, you name it, they have everything. So I went there and they were doing this in offer. I think they were doing... Uh, two eyeliner for 1200 yen and they usually are like 900 yen each so I said okay I'm gonna try it and I really needed the eyeliner so it's not like a normal black jet black eyeliner but the tip is like almost like a um, I don't know how to put it it's almost like a painter brush it's really soft and it's the color is like really intense as well and it's, it's really easy to blend mine is nearly finished because I've been using this since November and I now I'm in April and I can still sometimes use it I put it like this in a pot to make sure I get the last bit out of the product so and it doesn't um, spread out during the day either so I really love this thank goodness I put the you know two for one sort of offer so I have I do have a backup going on for this one so even if that one runs out I think I'll definitely buy in this on the internet because that's how much I'm in love with this. I use this today to do my eyeliner and you can see how sharp 
I are. So I did mention I ordered some stuff through e House because of their offer. So I thought I'm gonna try one of their um, lip products because their lip product are normally is really good, really moisturizing. And the color paints also so well as well. And I think these are only like six dollars. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna try. I do not remember the name correctly because e House like some sort of catchy names, but they are really difficult to remember. So I bought this lipstick and it's like normal lipstick but it's almost like a creamy texture but the color is so pretty and it's it makes your lips so comfortable as well when you're wearing it and that's the color and if you want to share you just put one and then if you just roll your lips together it almost acts like a tin which I absolutely absolutely love so I think they are really a good product comparing to you know the lipstick that we buy in the London and even normal um, Revlon L'Oreal cosmetic it will set you back like nearly 10 pounds and comparing to these they have nothing on EDGR lipsticks and I absolutely love them so if you're thinking of getting that maybe get a couple of colors you were never gonna get wrong with this so yeah those are all the products so far to April 2015 that I've been loving and um, if, if you guys don't know I have started a Facebook page uh, with the name Lazy Dianonoba that's in my language means I really want you to be pretty so uh, it's targeted to all the girls and, and the women back home from my country who are uh, wanted to make themselves pretty but don't know and not sure about makeups and I'm just doing makeup tutorials and you know sometimes I write articles too like my thoughts in some of the areas some of the things that are how they should be you know going on a date that sort of thing so very light-hearted and it's going really well I've been getting a lot of support which I'm really really grateful for so if you want to check it out I'm gonna put my page link down below and do check it out even though you can't understand uh, in my language I'm sure you can you know see the reaction of the people so thank you for watching and